First case, 62-year-old man with fever, stem cell transplant, gets a CT for evaluation and workup of his fever. We see several different findings that overlap some of the talks that were already given this morning. We see almost more coalescent consolidation, but one thing, when you have things that are asymmetric and patchy like this, I encourage you, look in the areas that are less affected to really tease out perhaps where this process started. So over here we see a small little cluster of nodules. There's a little bit of sparing of the pleural surface, maybe here as well. These look like just small nodules that have then coalesced into to larger areas of ground glass and consolidation elsewhere. So this is a very good look for an infectious bronchiolitis. It's asymmetric, you have nodules, and then coalescing into larger areas of consolidation. What is the cause of this? In this case, you know, I honestly don't know. When it looks like this, it can really be anything. It can be viral, it can be bacterial, it can be fungal. In this case, it turned out to be a viral pneumonia. What will you see? Well, you start with nodules, and they're going to be central lobular nodules, inferring that this is involving the small airway, so that's where this process is starting. As they get bigger and coalesce, then you can see other findings as well. But as one point I want to impress upon you is that usually this is a, an asymmetric disease, meaning it's not going to involve the entire lung uh, symmetrically, as we will see some other non-infectious causes of small airways disease can. Here's another case. This is another virus, parainfluenza in this case. I don't know the difference between the viruses that cause this, but you can see similar findings. You see larger areas of consolidation, but when you look at areas that are less affected, we see these little central lobular nodules sparing the pleural surface. So this is one of the most common things that we encounter is going to be small airways disease from an infectious bronchiolitis.